Okay, next up, uh, what I want to tackle in the shop here is our pallet racking that we have here. Um, what that is is Dad's, some of Dad's Camaro parts, uh, some bunch of other fittings and, and just random stuff I think up there. Uh, way up top is a uh, bunch of parts I had left over uh, when I was restoring a 79 Chevy truck. None of that needs to be in here. Um, I think if we do this right and we get Dad's, all Dad's parts, Camaro parts over here, we could end up with four room for, for four pallets <clears throat> up here, which is a huge amount of space that uh, um, we're not utilizing and I think would really help us out, uh, help us maximize the space we do have in here. So I'm going to climb up there and uh, try to get all Dad's parts looked at, find out what he's got there, and try to move them over to this other side, and then uh, find out what this mess is, get it all on the pallet, just lift the pallet off so I can uh, go through that, then uh, go up there, grab that, pallet up there, go through it, make sure there's nothing that uh, mice can chew up and that can probably go in the other shed. And uh, like I said, hopefully when I'm done with this we'll have room for four pallets of uh, stuff up there that can uh, free up shop space, shop floor space I should say, and uh, uh, really, like I said, help us maximize all the space that we do have. So I'm going to get the ladder up there and uh, start uh, start cleaning.
Okay, got all the pallets off of there. Kind of uh, trying to plan here how to maximize this space and, and get some stuff that's always in our way, out of our way. Um, so I went out and got some more, we got some more of these crossovers and I went and got some of them. I think I'm gonna put Dad's hood in here. Then I think I'm gonna make a pallet up or something to stack his doors and put his doors up here. Then uh, I'm gonna try to get uh, the rest of his stuff up in here. And then uh, I'm gonna go find another piece of wood or a couple pieces of wood. I'll put his trim and bumpers and stuff up there. And uh, I'm not sure what we're doing up there, but that's a long ways up. I know it's 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 kind of difficult to reach that with the forklift, but I'm sure we'll figure something out to go up there. Okay, here's a quick pallet I put together to stack Dad's doors. Uh, it ain't pretty. Um, I had a 10 foot 2 by 4 and some scraps, so that's what I come up with. It'll work. That is going uh, up there. Um, I'm going to stick the hood and that narrow part underneath it there and that should get uh, a bunch of stuff out of our way that is normally in our way um, and uh, yeah when he's ready for his hood and when he's ready for his doors we can we can get him down with a forklift no problem so okay so this is what I come up with for our pallet racking. Um, got dad's parts over here, his doors up here, other parts, his front uh, balance. Got his hood up there, seats over here, bunch of his stuff over here. I got my air tank there. Um, that's a little diesel engine up there. Uh, I got his bumpers and trim and stuff up there. Um, that's the, up there is actually the hood. My cowl hood for my dually, I haven't even been able to test fit that thing. But, uh, got his stuff a little more organized. And I found some things. And no, I'm not stacking parts on Dad's car again. That is actually, I found uh, a box of his seals. Uh, we were looking for them, or he was looking for them. I found them, and then uh, over here, I actually moved the... Uh, uh, the cabinet back against that wall, took this cabinet, turned it around, put it around the corner there, brought our grinders that were uh, back in the corner, brought them out here. Um, we only need one. I don't know why we got two, but we should probably weed that out to just one. Um, still got a mess underneath the pallet racking there with all of our chemicals and stuff. We got truck parts on that other thing, but uh, the pallet racking is stored it out pretty good. Actually got room uh, right here for another pallet of stuff if I just move his lower balance out of the way, so um, it's a big improvement there. And actually if I move my hood I got room for two pallets up there, but it's kind of difficult to get up in there uh, because uh, the mast is almost touching the the top of the roof there, the top of the ceiling, uh, to get a pallet off there. Um, I guess I could drop them down one notch, uh, and that would allow the. Now that might work. That would allow you to be able to get the pallet off easier. Um, it's, it's hard to see way up there, but uh, I mean, it, it, you take your time. It's doable, but. Uh, I just got a bunch of stuff out of our way. The, Dad's hood and my hood were always in the way. His doors were in the way too. So they're out of the way now and uh, much, much more room here uh, than before. So I'm happy with that. Okay, one more thing I'm going to tackle here is... Uh, this uh, hole is set up. Right now it's on a wheeled deal and we don't move it anywhere. And uh, when you're winding in the hose it wants to wander all over the place. It wants to move around. 
um, and uh, it is not it's not the best setup. I'm going to take the wheels off, take the handle off, I'm going to mount it directly to the wall there. This thing was leaking. I put new o-rings in here and uh, it just seems to drip a little bit now. Um, they want like 80 bucks for a nice wall mounted hose. I'm hoping to get by another year with this one. Then we'll spend the 80 bucks but right now I just want to use this one up and then uh, yeah I think it'll be better on the wall plus if it's up off the ground I'll be able to sweep under it you can see it's a mess under there uh, that'll help there too so you know just mount some 2x4s up against the wall there uh, this wall dad made it's the bathroom wall it's I guess it's made out of plywood it's a full sheet of plywood so I can screw into anywhere there so there, there is no well, I'm sure there's studs but it's all plywood anyway so should be able to just screw into that and then uh, I'll show you how I'm going to attach the the deal first I got to take out the wheels take off the handle take some measurements and stick my 2x4s up there and uh, it's pretty darn actually it's pretty heavy pretty heavy deal but See if I can't muscle it up there. Okay, so this is how this turned out here. You can see how I hung it there. I just used them. Uh, I don't even know what them are, but we we have uh, our air fittings, <coughs> all our airline and stuff held in place with them. So I got eight of those. I put I put that many because this thing is. This thing's fairly heavy, and then you add water to it, and then you add, uh, you're going to be pulling it, you know, cranking it in, so I wanted to make sure that that sucker was uh, secure, but uh, it, I like it so much better already. I've got the uh, wheels and handle there. Probably just keep them if I ever want to uh, change it back to a roller, which I don't see. We're going to probably use this thing up. And once it's done, we'll get a new one. So I'll just junk it out. I like it off the ground. I'm able to sweep under there. <clears throat> it's pretty dirty. I'm gonna have to probably sweep multiple times to get that out. To get that all clean. Got it kind of clean under there. Wash buckets under there. We need to do something with our recyclables because this is kind of kind of in the way there. Um, I got my cans over here but that ain't gonna work out either got under the parts washer cleaned up a little bit we got to figure out what we're doing with all these grease guns because they don't need to be under there we're gonna junk them out or we're gonna use them so we have we actually have a bigger parts washer that I'm probably gonna get in here it, it rolls around and it's way bigger than this so we can actually put some big big pieces in there because this is sometimes too small so um, when there's the battery stuff. Um, I guess I got one more thing I did. I put all of our big wrenches in a, in a roller cabinet. I'll get that out and, uh, show you that, I guess. Okay, here's what I did with our, um, all of our one inch. And I guess there's some three quarter inch, um, impacts down there but there's a big one inch there it's an oldie but uh, it gets the job done um, this is a this is a rolling like uh, work cabinet we've used it before and we just usually stick junk on it and it never gets used so I figured we use it for this top opens up and now we've got uh, all of our one inch sockets there they're all lined up according to size uh, I got a couple miscellaneous got some millimeters there some odd things odd sockets for what I'm not sure got uh, the big ratchets big breaker bars got uh, this is for uh, truck lug nuts I guess semi lug nuts it's a pack of them and then we got more, we got some uh, 
bars for extensions. We got another ratchet, more breaker bars, some adapters, and these are all extras. We have the same. I didn't want to put doubles up here, but we got some if we break them. And uh, this one here's got junk in it. I gotta clean that out. And we'll have more room. We actually got more room to expand our, what we got here, so. That's good, this, this cart should last a while. And you get a piece of rubber for under there, so all of them are not rattling while you're moving it. This probably won't get moved much though, so. And uh, they're all undercover. Well, most of the stuff's undercover. This ain't undercover, but uh, what we had it on was this thing here. This is what Dad had it on. And this, that's, it was in them boxes and they were all exposed and you couldn't even get down and read what you had down there and they were separated. This way I've got, uh, we've got it all in one place. So there's no, no looking for it. It's all right there, so. I guess another thing organized for us. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I might just combine a bunch of these videos that I've, I've been cleaning and um, I guess show you what I've got so far. Okay, we've got this area under control a little bit more. I uh, still got to work out uh, all of our oil stuff and organize that. There's a better way than what we're doing there. So uh, this is a lot better. And uh, keep going. <laughs> 